the Greek goddess of manslaughter is none other than the Androctasia or Androctasiae. These female personifications were known in ancient Greek mythology as the embodiment of manslaughter. In Greek mythology, manslaughter was often attributed to the actions of individuals, and the Androctasia were the deities who oversaw and represented these acts. The Androctasia were not widely known or worshipped like some of the more prominent Greek goddesses such as Athena or Aphrodite. Instead, they were more obscure figures in Greek mythology, representing a darker and more violent aspect of the ancient world. The name Androctasia itself is derived from the Greek words andros meaning man, and tesios which means murderer or slayer. As personifications of manslaughter, the Androctasia were often invoked in the context of war and battle. In Greek mythology, warfare was a common and brutal reality, and the Androctasia were believed to be present on the battlefield, guiding and influencing the actions of mortal warriors. They were seen as the driving force behind the violent and deadly acts of combat, inspiring and instigating bloodshed and death. While the Androctasia were not as widely revered as some of the more well-known Greek goddesses, they played a significant role in the mythological understanding of the consequences of violence and bloodshed. Their presence in Greek mythology served as a reminder of the destructive power of war and the human capacity for brutality. In Greek literature and mythology, the Androctasia were often referenced in the context of epic battles and conflicts. Their influence was seen as a potent and terrifying force, driving mortal warriors to commit acts of violence and bloodshed. The Androctasia were believed to revel in the chaos and carnage of warfare, feeding off the destructive energy of battle. While the Androctasia were primarily associated with warfare and combat, their influence extended beyond the battlefield. In Greek mythology, they were also invoked in the context of murder and violent crime. The Androctasia were seen as the invisible hand guiding individuals to commit acts of manslaughter, influencing their thoughts and actions to fulfill their violent impulses. The Androctasia were not depicted as benevolent or compassionate deities. Instead, they were portrayed as ruthless and relentless forces, driving mortals to commit brutal and deadly acts. Their presence in Greek mythology served as a stark reminder of the darker aspects of human nature and the destructive potential of violence. In some interpretations of Greek mythology, the Androctasia were seen as a manifestation of the primal and savage instincts within humanity. They were embodiments of the raw and unbridled power of violence, representing the untamed and ferocious nature of mortal conflict. The Androctasia were seen as a reflection of the darkest impulses within the human psyche, pushing individuals towards acts of brutality and bloodshed.